Saturday, July 18, 2020. And guess what? It's a corn planting day, man. Today is the 14th day after full moon. And what I did, I pre-soaked the corn for eight hours. And here I am today. And I am going to put these corn seed in the ground. So you put in one, one seed there, cover it up a little bit, not too much, just about an inch or, or two. You don't want the corn to have much of a problem to get out of the ground there. Right, just like that. So, it's 6 a.m. and I'm here making sure that the corn get going very nicely. So you put, put one corn seed there, cover it up, put another one about four to six inches apart. And from here to there is about 10 inches, 15 centimeters. Somewhere there. Yeah, man. That is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Corn coming out just now. In the next three days, these corn will emerge out of the ground and it'll be all ready for doing its thing. Yeah, man. So, this is just a assist the bees a little and it also assists my belly too because I love curry corn I love boiled corn I love steamed corn most of all and I love corn soup so if I don't put it in the ground I wouldn't be able to get it. Yes, folks. Come on down, man. Right here. Good honey bee yard. Beautiful Caribbean island of Trinidad. Yeah, man. Right? You see this one here? Oh, it's looking nice. And the one in the back already. Um, bear, bearing. It have all the silk there, getting ready to mature the corn. And I have my bees right there. Yeah, man. Okay, so it's just a little tip to show you how to do your thing. You don't have to do it like how I do it, you know. I am having fun doing it like this. You see, on the 14th day, there is no moon in the sky that means that the corn when it emerge and it start to bear and start to grow it have no sap that will attract the them bugs and them to come and take the juice from the corn so without no bugs getting into the corn you have no problem whatsoever. Even if bugs come in the corn, you could use a simple little thing called fast tack. And it will, you know, repel those bugs. Is is um moth mort butterflies, you know. Among other things. Yeah man. So you get no, no um, none of those, what do they call them boy? Those grubs interfere with your corn whatsoever. Yeah man, so I am doing this all the time on a monthly basis. Getting my corn in the ground ready. It keep me um, it keep me occupied, keep me sweating, keep the immune system up, 
Sometimes you come across here and you, you get a bee sting or two. And you're good to go. Keep the adrenaline pumping. So folks, thanks very much for watching. And um, hey, I have a couple of things to, to share with you. So keep looking. As far as the corn planting thing going, I just have this, these other two beds here to finish. So, later for now. Great, let's continue. Cello to the good honey beard. July 18th, 2020. 7 a.m. All is quiet at the good honey bee yard today. We have very heavy cloud cover, so that means we're going to get some rain today. As you can notice, the two colonies over there from the other night, and we have we have one over on that side. You see, there's no rain coming, so they wash board in. Oh, there'll be colony right here, man. This is the third one. Let me see if they, let me see if they settle down. We will know if they're coming in with pollen. I see they're coming in, they're very heavy. See how they're coming in with the belly heavy. Yeah man, pollen coming in. The, the piece of mesh quite inside. I'm gonna try and take it out. But like they want to sting me now. So let me leave them, yes? I ain't coming no smoke. If I interfere with them, they'll they, they sting me. I ain't ready to get no sting in my face at this time. You see right here? I'm here looking at them, trying to take care of them. The good honey. Here's where we just get the good honey from. We have a nice, you see that bush there? That is the soap vine. And we have soap vine right here. So those bees and them have to go far. We have a lot of cleaning up to do on this side, you know. So all this bush, all this bush need cutting. Clear up everything. I guess these boys and them too busy. Let me go and see what it is they're doing. Saturday, working here with the bees, they need some kind of thing over there. See some of the colonies. Watch more than nice. Look at this one here. Look at this other one here. All right, 